Alright, Maniac here. Just wanted to do a little video on this Lee Classic Turret Press for making bullets. Um, I'm loving this thing so far. I just got it and I'm making some rounds for my 7mm Remington mag. But, I ran into an issue when trying to press the, uh, the primer caps into the base of the shell. I was having some issues where they were getting jammed or some of them were getting stuck in there sideways uh, or not pressing in all the way and so what was happening was I would bring this all the way up obviously your shell sits in the um, you know your case sits in that shell holder there bring this all the way up I put a cap inside that little uh, that right there that cup thing and then you'd bring it down and when that came up through the center that's where it's supposed to press it all the way up into the bullet or the uh, the case the problem is is that that little shaft or that cup was actually too far back in that hole that um, that shell holder it was actually leaning against the back of the inside of that hole in the shell holder so it was offset and that was the whole culprit it was trying to push the primers into the recess of the the shell sideways and they were getting jammed and caught and everything else so what I ended up doing is I have another one here this is for the smaller primers I ended up taking this and putting it on the edge of my um, the uh, bench and I tapped right here with a hammer and I was able to bend that a little bit the problem was is that this pin was too far that way to the left <laughs> so it wasn't lining straight um, and this one is almost the same way I think I haven't really I don't think it was as bad as the other one but anyway I put that on the wood bench and I tapped here and I was able to bend that pin in a little bit and that made all the difference um, that made it so it lines up perfectly and uh, I haven't had an issue since. Now it, it winds the primers right in the shell, no problem. Um, I just did these last night and they all came out perfect. Um, these are uh, 150 grain rounds that I'm putting together. I have the um, IMR 30, uh, 8133 powder, the uh, large Magnum Rifle 215 match uh, federal primers. And I'm using these Burger um, hunting bullets. They're a uh, jacketed lid, pretty sweet, uh, good for long range, boat tail. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm working up some different loads, uh, different grains, and obviously I've got to do some shooting and experiment and see what my gun likes. But so far, so good. I'm using the Hornady uh, dies, the resizing and decapping die and then the uh, bullet cedar and crimper you have to buy those separate you have to buy your shell holder separate whatever you're gonna be reloading but um, yeah eventually I'm gonna get some 223 I've got a bunch of empty cases I've been saving I need to get those dies but so far so good I'm having a good time with it I actually made a little powder funnel out of a uh, flask funnel and uh, a spare 223 case so that actually fits because um, the the funnel wouldn't fit to dump my powder into the uh, bullets that I'm using so I cut the back off a 223 556 round and it fit perfectly in that funnel when I pulled it through it was like a press fit so that is kind of cool probably what I'll do is end up making a video from start to finish of doing a batch of bullets um, you know, it'll be obviously a little bit longer video, but it'd be kind of cool to show the whole process in using this um, Lee Classic Turret Press. And, uh, you know, for the price, the value, I think it was completely worth it. So far, so good. That's the only issue I've had so far, and luckily was able to fix it myself. So hopefully this helps anybody else that may be running into the same problem. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Peace!